a tutti ragazzi e bentornati nuovamente sul canale Restream. Allora, apriamo il 2021 con un omicidio, quindi cominciamo bene. E sì, perché in questo gioco, uh, Whispers of a Machine, noi eh, impersoneremo uh, un agente, uh, un investigatore, una donna, che ha de diciamo... Mh, degli innesti cibernetici che la rendono più forte eh, e insomma le danno delle, delle qualità in più e per cui eh, diciamo è chiamata a eh, investigare su una serie di omicidi eh, all'interno di questa eh, città fluttuante diciamo perché c'è stato il cosiddetto collasso che è una specie di ehm, fine del mondo e, e dopo di, di questo collasso eh, questa ehm, è rimasta diciamo questa città fluttuante che in realtà non è fluttuante è sospesa su una specie di costruzione no? di, di, di grosso palo grosso obelisco sì no palo perché un obelisco è diverso e, e quindi saremo chiamati a investigare su una serie di omicidi e vediamo un po che cosa succede in questo gioco ah è un insomma punto e clicca investigativo eh, quindi ci saranno degli enigmi delle cose da eh, unire eh, parlare con le persone investigare insomma sarà mh, particolare e quindi io direi di cominciare a vedere di che cosa parla questo whisper sofa machine buona visione So, what's with the gloomy look? Left someone dear behind? Ah, uh, yeah. You could say that. Been there. So, Nord Sunday, you better buckle up. We've got some nasty weather coming in. I heard. Sadly, caring about storms is a luxury people in my line of work are rarely afforded. Oh, and what kind of work is that? Special agent. Violent crimes. Central Bureau. Well, shit. You there. This is a restricted crime scene. Vera England, Central Bureau. Oh, you're Agent England. Sorry for shouting at you. I'm Gabriel. Apology accepted. Now brief me, please. Certainly, ma'am. The victim is Carl Oscarson, age 33. Stabbed to death by an unknown assailant. He worked here as a carpenter and was found early this morning by a co-worker who was sitting over there by the window. Got it. Sorry about the state of the crime scene. We're not used to this sort of thing. Evidently. This entire room should have been evacuated. Staying clear of the body would have decreased the risk of contaminating evidence. Yeah, maybe we should have established a wider perimeter. Yes, I would highly advise that for next time. Got it. I'll strive to do better in the future. Good to hear. Now give me a second while I examine the body. Sure, I'll be here. So, is this where you use your x-ray vision? My what? Come on, you have to be aware of the rumors. How agents like you are supposed to be equipped with some kind of advanced cybernetics?
Let's just say I'm good at what I do. We'll leave it at that. Oh, didn't mean to overstep my boundaries. Hush, hush. Got it. All right, we've got multiple knife-sized stab wounds to the chest. I don't see a murder weapon, so I take it none was found at the scene? That's right. All knives and sharp tools in the building have been accounted for, too. It looks like the victim was attacked directly from the front. I don't see any major defense wounds, so this was either a surprise attack, or the victim knew the perpetrator. What about any potential suspects, Constable? Did Carl have enemies? None as far as we know. He seemed to be well-liked among the guys here. But the man who found him might know more. There was a photo in his chest pocket. I already examined him. Gabriel. Yeah? What can you tell me about yourself? Not much to tell. I grew up here in Nordson, and all my family is here. The commissary is my uncle. He's always been the one who encouraged me to become a policeman. So, how long have you been a cop? Eight years now. Wow, eight? Must have started young. Yep, started as a trainee at age 16. Hmm, I see. Do you know who the woman in this photo is? Too hard to tell. Sorry. Okay, that's all I need for now. Very well, Agent. Okay, that must be Carl's locker. Postmortem, huh? That would suggest that he likely only touched the body after death. Looks pre-collapse, basically a glorified corner lamp. There's a coin slot on the side with a coin stuck in it. I can probably pull it out using some extra strength. Got the coin. It's an old pre-collapse coin. No one would accept it as payment today. A row of personal lockers for the workers here. Mm -hmm. 
I hate to start things off like this, but your hands are bloody and a man is lying dead over there. You understand how it looks, right? Wait, what? I yes, it's his blood, but I just got some of it on me when I turned him over. Okay, so why were you even touching the body? You should have notified the police immediately. I, I, I just didn't realize he was dead at first. I thought he just hurt himself or something. Hmm, okay. Let's move on to some other questions. Fine, I have nothing to hide. Why don't you tell me about what happened this morning? Okay. I get up early from my morning smoke. I keep my smokes in my locker, so I came in here. I saw Carl lying in the corner. It was still kind of dark, so I thought he'd fallen and hurt himself. I ran over to him. That's when I noticed the blood, and I guess I was kind of in shock, so I tried to stop the bleeding, but then I felt how cold he was. I yelled for help. The guys came running, and then Josef, our foreman, sent someone to go get the police. Okay. When was the last time you saw Carl alive? Late last night, or around midnight. He stayed up with us playing cards, which is unusual. Unusual? How so? Well, it was rare for Carl to stick around in the evenings. He usually went out by himself. Oh. Do you know where he used to go? No idea. He didn't talk much about that. Maybe he went to the canteen to meet some friends. Anyway, Carl seemed a bit anxious last night. He seemed distracted. Got it. Thanks for the info. Can you tell me a little bit about Carl? Sure. I've known him since I started working here four years ago. We instantly hit it off. He had a great sense of humor. He used to be so cheerful, you know? Always kidding around, always with a smile on his face. But then about a year ago, something happened. He became absent-minded and humorless. I know people can change, but this came seemingly from nowhere. Huh. What do you think caused the shift? No idea. Whatever it was, he wouldn't confide in me about it. What's your opinion on the policeman over there? Gabriel is a good man. He's been a cop in Nordsun for quite a while. That's enough questions for now. Okay. I should look at it myself first. It's a bloody photograph of Carl and a young woman, taken fairly recently by the look of it. He's holding hands with the woman, but I can't discern her face. Too much damage to the photo. She's wearing a brass necklace. Could be relevant. It's a bloody photograph of Carl and a young woman, taken fairly recently by the look of it. He's holding hands with the woman, but I can't discern her face. Too much damage to the photo. She's wearing a brass necklace. Could be relevant. Locked. Doesn't look incredibly strong, though. I might be able to get it open with enough force. Try not to wreck the place. No reason for alarm. I just needed to get this locker open. There was a piece of paper in one of the inner pockets. A pair of large boots with dirt under them. Thank you. 
The note looks like it was written by a woman. It reads, Hi, Doofus. You're registered now. Go try it out. Remember how you totally flipped the day I first came to Nordsund? Kisses. Hey, I'm gonna go check out the dorm. Where's Carl's bed? Turn left and then go straight. I left the light on so it'd be easy for you to find. Gotcha. Be right back. Dirty laundry. Smells like machine oil. Both beds look recently used. Pens and paper. Nothing out of the ordinary. Clean clothes and sheets. Nothing interesting. Huh. Odd place for a ventilation duct. around a panel on the air duct. The panel is screwed on tight. I'll need some way of getting it loose. It's an old pre-collapse There was a small key hidden inside the duct. A small, unique looking key. It's an old pre collapse coin. Do you know who wrote this note to Carl? Afraid not. I don't recognize the handwriting. small, unique-looking key. Any idea of what this key opens? Nope, haven't seen a key like that before. I found this in Carl's coat. What do you make of it? Not sure. But it's a bit strange that the person who wrote this couldn't just tell him face to face. Maybe they didn't want to risk being seen together. Or the note's author needed to leave in a hurry. Yeah, could be. Any idea of what this key could open? Nope, but it looks small. Some kind of drawer, maybe a filing cabinet or something? I have no reason to display my str Do you know who wrote this note to Carl? Afraid not. I don't recognize the handwriting. Any idea of what this key opens? Nope. Haven't seen a key like that before. Have a look at this picture. Do you know who the woman is? Uh, yeah. That's just some old girlfriend of Carl's from ages ago. Is that so? It doesn't look that old. At least Carl looks about the... Yes, the guy aged well. Any other questions?
You're lying to my face. If this attitude of yours doesn't change, the gloves will come off. I'm a patient woman, but I will only accept your full cooperation. I'll do what I need to do to bring justice to a murder victim. I'm, I'm sorry. I gave him a promise. Well, the lady in the photo, Carl is still seeing her. Well, was, I suppose. Why wouldn't you tell me that from the beginning? It was a secret. Carl said they would both get in trouble if anybody knew. Why would they get into trouble? An affair? I didn't ask, but yeah, it could be. All right. Tell me everything you know about this woman. Carl said she lived somewhere north of town, but that's all I know. Okay, I believe you. I think I'm almost done here. I should just talk to Gabriel before I go. A few more questions. Do you know anything about saffron plants? Nope. I know we grow them in Nordson, but that's it. That's enough question. Okay. Hey, I think I'm done here. Oh, okay. Mind sharing your findings? It seems like the murder could be tied to a secret relationship Carl had with a woman. But I'm leaving all options open. Sounds reasonable. You have a lead to follow up on? Yes. I have reason to believe that Carl recently passed through an area with saffron plants somewhere in Nordsund. Maybe I can correlate that with Carl's movements to the north of town when seeing that woman. Good. Meanwhile, we'll transport the body to the morgue and have an autopsy performed as soon as possible. Do you want us to keep the area sealed off? No need. I'm done here and won't come back. You can let the men get back to work. Very well. I'll let them know. By the way, how do I get to the police station from here? Just head straight east outside. You'll see it. Got it. See you later. Gabriel. Yeah? Do you know anything about saffron plants? I know we grow them here in Nordsund, but I'm not sure exactly where. We have vegetables all... Okay, that's all I need. Very well, Agent. I don't need to go down to the ground. Looks like an old hovercraft. Hey, what's happening here? Bit of an electrical problem with some fallen power lines. It's being taken care of, but it'll be a while. So I can't enter the museum? Well, you can, but only if electrocution is something you enjoy during working hours. What caused it? Did someone mess up, or was there some kind of environmental damage? Oh, well, we've had a windy week. An old tree fell down and ripped down a major power line. It's in a tricky spot, and due to how the grid is built up, I can't cut the power safely without affecting half the town. Sounds like a flawed design. Is that typical for electrical grids these days? Eh, not really. This power grid is quite old, constructed shortly after the collapse. That meant they had to improvise. They couldn't just clone existing power systems at the time, since those were reliant on service robots with negligible safety concerns. So yeah, now I'm paying the price. The whole thing is riddled with hacks and workarounds, each one more dangerous than the next. I see. I don't envy such a hazardous work environment. How long will it take you to fix? Hard to say, but it should be done by tomorrow morning. All right, thanks. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Hello, deputy. What are you guarding? The residence of the first murder victim. The commissary told me to direct you to his office before going upstairs. I see. I'll go find him and come back later then. Sounds good, agent. I don't need to know his opinion on...
All right, so this is the town square. That building with the emblem must be the police station. Bene ragazzi, siamo arrivati alla fine della prima puntata di questo nuovo gioco e beh, secondo me è intrigante, la storia mi sta piacendo è vero sì, le meccaniche sono un po' lente perché comunque bisogna investigare però sono, sono fighi i giochi investigativi poi lei è veramente carismatica, mi piace moltissimo come personaggio e, soprattutto quando usa la forza mi piacerebbe poterla usare un po' ovunque non è possibile e, e vediamo un po' poi cosa succederà andando avanti e, come sempre se vi è piaciuto il video mettete un like e ricordatevi soprattutto di iscrivervi al mio canale wrestling ciao e alla prossima